And hello YouTube, this is GS Man, I'm Smart, and I'm going to take another brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Audacity, the free audio editing software, and showing you how to create a distant effect as well as a running past effect. I don't know the proper name for it, but I'm going to be calling it running past effect. And this is actually going to incorporate some techniques that I got asked in a comment by one of my subscribers. And I think the question was something along the lines of how do you create an effect where your audio comes out only from the left side of your headphones and from the right side of your headphones. And well, that got me thinking, you know, that's a pretty simple uh, thing to do. So I want to make it a little more advanced. And this is what this is what the tutorial is going to be about. About uh, working with those elements of um, making your audio come from left side or right side channels of your headphones and also creating these effects of something being very distant or uh, something that's in the background or something running past you. Now, for the sample audio that we're going to be working with, I actually have some voice acted lines that I did, well, impression, uh, impre impressions, an impersonation of Gollum from Lord of the Rings. And this is only because um, I work with someone that knows how to do the impression fairly well. And I told him I could do it too, so I'm going to link him the video to see what he thinks. But let's go ahead and take a listen to the uh, sample audio here that I recorded a few minutes ago. And this is what we're going to be working with. My precious. Oh. Where does it go? Where does it go? I must find it. Master, my friend. You would never take it. Sneaky little hobbitses. I'm coming for you. Alright, so that was my, uh impersonation of Gollum. Not the best, but it works. So the idea is that for the first part of this audio where I'm saying, oh my precious, we're going to keep that the same. And then for the second part, oh where is it, I can't find it or something like that, we're going to make that come out from the left side of your headphones. For the third part, I must find it, that's going to be from the right side of your headphones. And then this middle section about talking about the master as his friend and stuff like that, we're gonna keep um, from both channels again. And then this last part, we're actually gonna create the distant effect where it, where, it, where it sounds like he's running past us. Now, the problem with this technique is that Audacity doesn't really have an official way, an easy way to do this. The way you have to do this is very clunky and very weird and it's it can get kind of annoying if you have a long track. So bear with me. Unfortunately, if we were using something like Adobe Audition, they actually have a tool that allows you to do this. But I've looked in the effects, I could not find something like that. If you know of the effect, if you know how to do this in a much better way, please do leave it in the comments section because um, it would be helpful to me and helpful to everyone watching as well. Maybe I'll throw an annotation up there. I'm going to show you guys how I know how to do it, my method. And basically, the first step is to go ahead, well, what we're going to do, because I want to show you guys the different ways, uh, left channel, right channel, distant running past and whatever. I'm going to go ahead and split my audio um, into sections. And this is probably what you want to do as well, if you want to create this running past effect, or if you want to have parts of your audio come from the left side or the right side, you want to section it off. Because what you're going to have to do is put these pieces of audio into separate tracks. And the way we're going to do that we're just gonna take a listen to what we want to separate My precious. so right up to here i want to keep this the regular i want to keep this normal everything after that i want to change so what we're going to do is just um grab our what is this selection tool here and then uh place it like somewhere between the two lines go up to edit clip boundaries and click split and what this will do is actually allow us to separate the track uh, the next step we're going to go is up to tracks, add new, stereo track. And all we're going to do is just drag this down into a separate track. After that, we're going to take a listen and try to separate the next part. Oh, where does it go? So that's the part I want to I have on the left side of the headphone. So I'm going to split at the end of that as well. Once again, edit, flip boundaries and split and you're pretty much going to do this until you know you don't want to add any more effects to your sound um, but i'm going to continue to do this add stereo track and keep on splitting and sectioning it off because i'm going to be showing you 
guys how to do it you know different different ways uh, different forms of the effect so my first track is going to be regular my second track is going to be left side of the headphones my third track here is going to be right side of the headphones and um i must find it yeah so this is basically going to be the right side after that i want to split it again and we're going to do once again a clip boundaries split And we're going to add another track. Like I said, if you're if you're only doing one of these effects, like if you only want to make it come from the left side of your headphones and the right side of the headphones, you don't need this many stereo tracks. Master, my friend, you would never take it. Sneaky little habits. All right, and then from here on, I want to cut this as well. Edit. Split boundaries, split. And this is going to be, this last section here where, where he's saying, oh, I'm coming for you. This is going to be where we're going to make it seem like he's running past us. So uh, this section right here, I want to keep normal. So I'm just going to move it up to the very top where my normal track is because we don't need to create another track for zero effects. So this track is going to be, the first track is going to be our zero effects track. Where does the... Uh, does the line begin right there all right go ahead and work with a left left channel first now if you want to make this come out of the left side of your headphones it's very easy actually all you gotta do is highlight the section that you want to create the effect to and this little bar on the left on the left side here you'll see you have a left channel and a right channel with depending on how you move this it will depend on where the sound is coming from if you keep it right in the center it's going to come from both of your headphones however if we move it something like uh 80% if we take a listen to this. Uh, where does it go? It's coming from the left side of our headphones. So it makes it seem like the person is talking from the left side. Now, um, what we can also do is do it to the right side. And you guessed it, all we gotta do is just move the bar. We're gonna move the bar to the right side this time. So, what do we have the other one? 80%? 70? So this time we're gonna make it so where did it go? I must find it. Now one thing that you'll notice is that it sounds very artificial. And the way you can make it a lot more natural is obviously gonna be with a lot more time and a lot more work in it. Um, I'm gonna show you how to how to sort of make it sound natural. I mean the more times you separate your tracks the more times you create a different percentage, the more realistic it'll sound. And that's the sad truth because, uh, you know, if you want to make it sound really realistic, you have to go ahead and separate this track uh, continuously. But we're just going to go ahead and separate it a few times. So we're actually going to make this negative um, 50%, right? Where did it go? So it, it makes it seem like the character turned his head to the right just a little bit. And then for the second part here, we're going to make it seem like he turned it to the right even more. So it sort of flows a little better. And we're going to go ahead and separate this into two sections. Go up to edit again. Flip boundaries. Split. And... I must find it. Right around there. Right in the middle there. We're just going to spl um, split it again. And... What we're going to do now is create another track. There we go. So we're going to um, add this and place this down here. And then we're going to add a, one more a stereo track. Add new stereo track. And move this one up one as well. So drag this down. Now, the point of separating these tracks is so that we can uh, change the percentage of the right channel separately like i said there's no way where you can actually animate the sound that it that it starts at one position uh one percentage and then goes all the way to another percentage such as if you could do it in audition or in after effects or premiere pro where you have you know little keyframes you can't keyframe your audio here and that's the sad part so we have to do it really by hand so up here we have the right channel set to uh, 50% I believe. 
So down here, we're going to bring it to about 70%. And then down here, we're going to bring it to 90%. And you'll see that this starts to sound like he's going further away to the right. Listen to this. Where did it go? I must find it. It sounds it sounds a bit um you know abrupt how it suddenly changes it. how it suddenly changes but like I said the more separations you do and you know, say we made another stereo track here and then uh, perhaps made it you know sixty percent and seventy percent and eighty percent and ninety percent then it'll sound a lot more like it flows but um that's the general idea there but now for this last part right here this last effect what we want to do is make it sound like he's running past us and do this it's pretty much gonna be a similar technique and uh, for this section i'm gonna be breaking this up into six different sections because i want it to start from one side and then go to the other side left to right and um it, it would probably be best to do it in seven sections because between three and five will be middle ground I'm going to try to separate this into uh, seven, seven even sections. And all you'd have to do then is just drag it out a little bit. Then continue sectioning it off. So there we go. The, the uh, separations don't need to be 100% even. However, the more even you have them, the better the effect, obviously. But not too big of a deal. Uh, these sections are rather small. But now the next step is to, you guessed it, create the same amount of stereo tracks. And what we'd have to do then is scroll back up to this part right here. All we got to do then is just make sure that this aligns like so. And the way you can tell if it aligns, you'll see this little highlighted yellow line that glows up once you have it perfectly aligned. And just keep dragging these down to the next track until you get to the last piece, which can then go to the uh, last track at the bottom. We have two more to go, so this one's going to go on the second to last track from here. Like so. And then this one. And now the trick basically is to just uh, separate, to just give these each individual percentages. This one we're gonna keep at zero, and then this one to keep at a thirty percent to the right. So, gonna be fifty percent to the right. And now, when we listen to this, end it. I'm coming for him. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, the, the reason why I just sounded really weird was because um, we actually overlapped. As we see, as we go scroll down here, we're actually overlapping uh, tracks. Make sure you don't do that. We're just going to mute this real quick so that we can uh, listen to the effect. Fix it in a minute. Must find it. I'm coming for you. There we go. We have this nice little effect of um, audio stereo from the left side and slowly going past to you to the right side. Um, so one more thing that you can do to make it sound a little more, I guess, a little more realistic, a little more natural, uh, you can add a echo delay effect. And this is really effective if you're doing something like to the left channel or to the right channel. Um, if you're doing it while running away, it's, it works too. Just make sure that you're not putting echoes when it's at zero, right in the middle. Because the way I the way I think of it is just put echoes when you're when you're running to the left or running to the right. When you're working with left channels and right channels, you want to have echoes because it makes it sound like more distant. So the way we can make it sound the way we can make this sound more distant, for example, this track right here. Where does it go? This sounds like it's coming from the left side, right? It's coming. A character is talking on the left side. 
Well, right now we only see, we, we we can only hear that's coming from the left side. Uh, the way we can make this seem a little more realistic is if we go ahead and go up to. We're just gonna highlight a portion of this, and then go up to effects, and click fade out. Where's fade? Fade out. Here we go. Why does it care? Why does why does it care? This sort of gives us a little, a little fade out at the end of uh, this little piece of audio. It makes it seem like his words are actually going off into the distance. Now, one other thing you can do to make it sound a little more realistic is to add an echo delay effect. And you can do that by going up to effects and then going down to echo. And the trick here is to use very small numbers. You can use 0.1 at the beginning. I would suggest you keep it at 0.1. You can try 0.2. And then for the second one, you want to keep it at 0.1 or 0.2. When we add this effect here, you'll notice a difference. So as you can tell, it makes it sound a little more like he's in a cave or if you're in a very large room. Um, depending on how how you adjust the delay factor, how you adjust those settings there. You put one second, the echo is obviously going to come a little later. You point 0 0.1 is going to, going to come at a you know a very quicker rate. So you have to play around with those settings a little bit. That's pretty much it for the tutorial. You know, it, it's sad that I couldn't find an effect that actually does this automatically. And it is painstakingly uh, annoying to do it this way, especially if you want to create an effect such as the running effect here. But uh, hopefully you understand the tools that I've used. Um, you know, I didn't I didn't really you know, dive too much into it, but I gave you the tools that you need. You basically need to work with uh, separate tracks. You work with splitting your audio. You need to work with uh, amplification. You can work with amplification as well. For example, if you want to make this, if you want to, if you don't want to use fade out and perhaps you want to use amplification, you can actually Go ahead and this entire track you can de-amplify by going up to effects and then finding amplify right here and you can give this a negative number and it'll actually sound lower uh, why does it, care? So it makes it seem like it's further away again you have to play around with the volume a lot and um with the left and right channels a bit and sectioning it off and adding a delay Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it makes some sense. If it doesn't make a lot of sense, I apologize. This is a, it's it's difficult to do in Audacity because you know Audacity is free. It doesn't have all the tools. If you have a better method, like I said, definitely in the comments section below. We're all here to learn. And that'll be for this video. With plenty of other Audacity tutorials coming up in the future. We have plenty of other Audacity tutorials already created on the channel. If you want to check those out, free uh, feel free to do so. And uh, that'll be for this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.